Hello everyone, how are you all doing? In this video, we are going to talk about the iOS 18 on iPhone 14 Pro. Oh my god, finally iOS 18 is here. Today, Apple has officially released the iOS 18 to public. You guys can go in settings general and you will see the iOS 18 official update. Yeah, it is a big update. Of course it is because it is packed with a lot of new features and changes my name is jay you are watching tech hyped if you are new here consider hitting that subscribe button right now because i keep on making these type of videos and i do talk a lot about ios so you don't have to miss these let's get right in today's video without wasting any more time all right so ios 18 on iphone 14 pro i have been using my iphone 14 pro since the very first day it came the ios 18 beta one i have been using ios 18 on my 14 pro since then so i have a really great idea of ios 18 on my device so let's jump into this video and talk about is it worth updating the ios 18 on iphone 14 pro or not the sad part about ios 18 yes i know you guys know it that ios 18 is not coming on iphone 14 pro with the ai and the apple intelligence features yeah i know that is a really sad news especially for iphone 14 pro users because you guys are on probably the same boat as me because i feel like ios 18 should have given some of the ai features to iphone 14 pro users because giving it to just the 15 pro was uh, i think it was a bad choice from apple because 14 pro definitely deserved some of the new ai features anyways we have cried a lot about that knowing the fact that the only devices that are supported is the 15 pro because the 16 just came out and no one probably is using that device right now as their daily driver so we can't really talk much about that right now but yeah it is sad news that iphone 14 pro is not coming with ai features and apple intelligence but anyways let's talk about other new things there are a lot of new features and changes and other than that the main thing that matters when you're installing a new update is practicality the performance the battery life the stability the bugs and issues are there any bugs is the performance any better or worse compared to earlier is the battery life better or worse compared to earlier let's talk all about that the battery life the number one thing that we are going to talk about the battery life is actually worse compared to ios 17 now obviously we all saw that coming because it is a tradition by apple that whenever a device starts to get old that means iphone 14 pro this year marks the second generation that iphone 14 pro is getting old basically two year old iphone 14 pro oh my god time flies so whenever this time arrives in a life cycle of an iphone i have always noticed that the battery life suddenly goes down same case is with the iphone 14 pro the ios 18 is not the best in terms of battery life i'm getting really bad battery life since the first day actually ios 17 was really good in terms of battery life on ios 17 iphone 14 pro was performing amazing in terms of battery screen on time on ios 17 but since i installed the ios 18 i thought that it is probably because it is a beta version but it's been a week that i have been using the official version of ios 18 and i gotta say that the official version is really bad in terms of battery life so battery life if it is something that you just care about a lot and you use your device a lot on cellular data then i think you should definitely consider not updating and waiting for some time because the battery life on iphone 14 pro is actually really bad on ios 18 in terms of battery life i would give it a 6 out of 10. now let's talk about the performance the performance is surprisingly good the performance is compared to ios 17 it is actually better uh, to be very honest the animations seems a bit better which makes the device feels faster if you know what i'm trying to say uh, the animations on the ios 18 the animations of app opening is faster compared to ios 17 on iphone 14 pro which makes the device feel faster and more responsive so yeah that is probably the only reason why performance seems a bit better on iphone 14 pro on ios 18 but yeah overall i'm really satisfied with the performance and i feel like that ios 18 is really good in terms of performance 
on the iPhone 14 Pro and I would give it a solid 9 out of 10. Alright, enough of performance, let's talk about the bugs and stability. There are surprisingly no big issues and bugs on iOS 18. I have not had any major bugs or issues which made me pull my hair that, oh, what the heck is this update? Since the beta version, I have not had any major issues. So yeah, you are safe and don't worry. Go ahead and install this update. Before jumping on to the conclusion, the stability of this update is also really, really nice. And you should definitely consider installing this update because I have been using it for a long time. And it, the new features, the new photos app, and a lot of these things which are on the iOS 18 makes it a really good package and the phone definitely feels really fresh compared to earlier especially because there are new dark mode icons which actually makes the home screen look so much better compared to earlier i just get uncomfortable at this point when i see light mode icons on any phone that good is the new home screen yeah just small dark mode icons make such a big difference that's pretty much it for today's video thank you so much for watching this video till the end this is me jay aka tech hyped and i am signing off peace out and have a great day everyone